The F-104 in its latest version is an all-weather, all-purpose weapon. It can fly at any hour, day or night. And it can perform missions usually requiring several different aircraft. Photo reconnaissance. Interdiction. Close support. Interception. Air superiority. Nuclear weapon delivery. For an intelligence photo reconnaissance mission, the 104 offers several camera options. It can carry a wide variety of equipment in a maximum sized pod, combining high and low altitude recon capabilities. Or it can mount a number of cameras in a smaller pod for low level reconnaissance and damage evaluation. When the M61 gun is removed to increase internal fuel capacity, pylon or wingtip sidewinders can furnish protection. On a typical photographic mission, assume an F-104 equipped with a large camera pod and carrying both pylons and tip tanks. The mission is flown at optimum altitude and cruise speed throughout. If all fuel tanks are retained, mission radius is 1,330 kilometers. If pylon tanks are dropped after the fuel is used, radius increases to 1,610 kilometers. If all tanks are released when empty, radius becomes 1,660 kilometers. As an interdiction weapon, the F-104 displays rare power and versatility. On any one mission, it can carry, besides the M61 gun, a 2,000-pound bomb. Two 1,000-pound bombs are napalms. Two rocket pods or two bull pups. Electronic fire control equipment in the 104 assures accurate delivery of these weapons. The fire control system easily accommodates all the various mixes, while F-15 NASAR provides ground target identification and range to target, along with terrain avoidance and ground and contour mapping. NASAR, the M-2 bombing computer, and the inertial navigator combined to furnish thoroughly reliable navigation and delivery on the interdiction mission. One mission assignment might find the 104 carrying 750 rounds for the M61, a 2,000 pound bomb, two 750 pound napalm bombs, and tip tanks. Even though this adds up to a takeoff weight of 27,380 pounds, ground roll on a standard sea level day is only 1,525 meters. At lighter weights, of course, ground roll is shorter. The outbound leg is flown at optimum cruise speed, tip tanks retained. With five minutes allowed for sea level combat at military power and optimum cruise setting on the return leg, Radius for this mission is 825 kilometers. Close support is another operation at which the 104 excels. This highly specialized mode usually calls for quick dash missions at short range and low altitude, often flown from landing strips that are far from ideal. Landing gear design allows maximum weight takeoffs from macadam and soft asphalt runways. Low altitude operations greatly increase load factors, but the latest 104s feature greater structural strength throughout. Leading and trailing edge flaps have been modified to withstand low altitude maneuvering loads at combat speeds. Armament and fuel options for close support are much the same as for interdiction.
While the full array of navigation and fire control equipment is at hand, it is more likely that the pilot will carry out close support operations visually. For strafing and dive bombing, he will position the optical sight reticle in a fixed depression angle to compensate for normal target overshoot. The close support mission allows 75 minutes of subsonic low-level maneuvers 280 kilometers from base. As an interceptor, the F-104 is ideal. It is the free world's fastest climbing, highest flying fighter. In addition to the M-61 gun, it can be armed with four sidewinders, two Aero 7D rocket pods, or two sidewinders and an unguided aerial rocket. To increase range, fuel can be substituted for the M-61 and fuel tanks added at wingtips or pylons. NASAR-15 and other electronics serve these various armaments. NASAR provides search, track, lock-on, and target illumination modes, along with computation and display of range, position, and angular displacement of target. NASAR also furnishes computed lead angles for firing the gun in lead pursuit attack and for firing unguided rockets in lead collision attacks. Additional electronics include a combination director type optical and infrared tracking site and a sidewinder in-range computer. NASAR can also be made compatible with radar missiles. On one variant of the supersonic intercept mission, the G would carry two sidewinders and tip tanks. Fuel is substituted for the M61 and tip tanks will be dropped. The outbound leg and combat is flown at maximum afterburner. Five minutes combat above 50,000 feet at Mach 2 and optimum subsonic cruise to base. On a Mach 2 mission, radius is 545 kilometers. A Mach 1.7 mission allows a radius of 590 kilometers. Air combat during the Korean conflict defined the ideal air superiority weapon. The F-104 fills that definition. Its usefulness is enhanced by fast mission turnaround. Eight minutes on the average, 12 minutes of 20 millimeter ammunition must be loaded. Armament and fuel again can vary. The M-61, two sidewinders, pylons and tip tanks. Four sidewinders and tip tanks or four sidewinders and pylons. The M61 can also be removed and fuel added. Carrying the M61, two sidewinders, pylons and tip tanks, the pylons to be dropped, the tip tanks retained, the 104 will either loiter or fly at subsonic cruise. With five minutes allowed for supersonic combat at maximum afterburner power, extreme range is 1100 kilometers. If the mission radius does not extend beyond 390 kilometers, the 104 can loiter for an hour and a quarter in addition to the five minute combat allowance. The F-104 can also function as a nuclear bomber. What it loses in range to much larger aircraft, it more than gains back in costs and in ability to avoid detection. Accurate all weather navigation for this important mission is supplied through the inertial and PHI navigators. TACAN and a standby gyro compass system. The inertial navigator and a PHI system relieve the pilot of all in-flight computations. They automatically process and correct for any altitude changes, detours, wind shifts, or evasive maneuvers. In conjunction with the inertial navigator, the PHI navigator displays heading and distance to any of several pre-selected destinations. These two systems can also combine to supply input to the autopilot, freeing the pilot for duties other than flying. NASAR guarantees all-weather strike potential through its modes of ground map, contour map, and terrain and air-to-ground avoidance. The M2 bombing computer supplies release point for straight and level, 
dive toss, and over-the-shoulder delivery. Besides the special store for this nuclear mission, a full fuel load is carried, the M61 gun being removed. All tanks will be dropped. Range and surprise compete on this mission. If it is flown low all the way beneath surveillance radar, mission radius is 800 kilometers. If the mission is flown low most of the way, radius is 1060 kilometers. If the mission is flown high at beginning and end and low in mid phase, radius becomes 1500 kilometers. If the mission is flown high all the way, radius is 1,625 kilometers. The ferry mission is an important adjunct of any military situation. The Export 104 is long-legged in this respect. Fuel replaces weapons, but the aircraft is delivered with all subsystems. If pylon and tip tanks are retained, Range is 2,925 kilometers. If tanks are dropped, range is 3,460 kilometers. Aerial refueling confers worldwide coverage on the F-104. Entire squadrons have been deployed by this technique from the United States to Europe, and the critical Pacific leg to Hawaii has also been flown. No matter what role is assigned it, the F-104 can change its makeup and carry out that role. Interception. Nuclear delivery and reconnaissance. The practical working ranges for the F-104 might best be shown in a radial envelope. 350 kilometers for the close support mission. 590 kilometers for intercept. 825 kilometers for interdiction. Air superiority coverage is 1,100 kilometers. Range for the nuclear mission is 1,625, and for photo reconnaissance, 1,660. When we apply this range envelope realistically to actual zones of operation, we see the effectiveness of the F-104. For both the Asian and the European environments, the F-104 is the ideal weapon. In costs, in striking power, in range, and in mission versatility. <laughs>